They'll come out throwing here on first down. He'll have a first down past the 40. Gets through and now an opening. And finally brought down at the 38. The big gainer there on the catch and run, 37 yards. To get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. There goes a deep ball, in zone, in for the score. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Well, it was fourth down, so there was pressure to begin with, and then you make a one-handed catch like that. What a play. Just when you thought your blood pressure couldn't get any higher after having called for it on fourth down, you see a one-handed catch being attempted. I'm sure it spiked at that point for all the guys on that side of the field, and instead they get... Session the score, 7-0. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. A big play there with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Vikings get the quick strike touchdown. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to him. Or you make sure you have more people. Now to first quarter action as the offense begins this drive. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Flush to his right. He's going to take a shot right away for the... It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. A big play there. Doing it again with his third touchdown here in the opening quarter. And the Vikings are going to widen that advantage. Showed some of his improv skills there, getting flushed out of the pocket, but still able to make the throw for the score. So that means he's not a method actor? No. Because with the improv means break care. Now second and ten. They'll drop the throw. Looking deep downfield. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. A big play there for Minnesota. 56 yards. Prime example there of how his height can be an advantage. It makes it tough on some of these smaller defensive backs. When they try and go through that type of a receiver to get the football, oftentimes that big body, that frame will block them away. And whether the receiver has to elevate or extend now he has a clear path to the football with the defender. Oh. Back to throw. He's going to go for it all. He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. As his guys are in for six. And the Vikings are going to widen that advantage. Now first quarter and this lead is already getting into dangerous territory. They better be careful on the other sideline. Yeah, it feels a little bit more like a basketball game where one team is pressing and that team can't get the ball over half court. I mean, it is steal of it. It's oh, of the first half as this offense gets ready to take over. A nice looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. It's a big one there for the Vikings. 42 yards. What a game it's been for this duo. Riffs, the other's right there to pick them up, and they are shredding them in this ballgame. He'll let this go for the end. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. In for the score as his guys continue to pour it on. And that touchdown reception is the fifth for him in this game, and that ties the NFL record. And a record that's held up since 1950. This is another person that's tied it, but think about this. Bob Shaw said it in 1950. Kellen Winslow came along and tied it. And then, of course, Jerry Rice tied it as well. And finally, we're seeing it here one more time. Phenomenal. They'll look to throw here on first down. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. A big play there for Minnesota. 73 yards. Sometimes the one-handed catches are unnecessary, but he was trying to ward off the defender with the other, so maybe there that was just a good play. So that tells you that not only do they imagine those types of catches, they actually work on them 
with defenders jostling them. Second quarter. An incomplete pass on first down. Here's second and goal. From a yard out. As his guys continue to put this one out of reach. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. position inside the 10. They'll set up to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Room to operate under after the big play. Here's first and 10. He'll buy some time right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. This is caught. Touchdown, Vikings. As his guys are in for six. As his guys continue to pour it on. As he was shuffling right out of the pocket, you could just tell he was going to take a shot downfield. He had his eyes down there the whole way. He certainly did. He wasn't taking off to go, right? Hey. He's the second and ten from the 25. He'll drop to throw. He's going to rifle one deep left. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. A big play there. 75 yards as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. Solid response that time by a young quarterback. Last drive interception, this drive the touchdown pass. I like how you described it solid because you don't get extra kudos for bouncing back if you're going to be a big-time quarterback. You're supposed to do that. But at the same time, when you're a rookie... Tet for the next drive. It's going to be a long day. Tight dog, tight dog, tight dog. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Flushed out right. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. Four-yard line. Zadarius Smith, the outside linebacker, dropping him for a loss of six. Chalk that up as their first sack. He's got a man complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That one good for 37 yards. Just more of the same there, partner. Guys have just been running free in the secondary this entire game. No pass rush. A lot of passes completed. Been an easy day for them. Just like that, out of danger and up past the 40 now for first and 10. They're going to look to throw. It's caught inside the 25. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. And now we've hit that stage of the game, partner, where one of our predecessors, one of the great commentators of all time, he's to sing in this situation when this game appeared to be over. <laughs> I know the fat lady's been singing for some no, time. No, 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 not her at all. This but one of she's our guys. singing too. Oh, she's singing. She, yeah, she's at she's least, on like the fifth tune at yeah, this point. Yeah, she, she left scales way behind. But he's to sing something about turning out the line. Be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll look to throw here. He's going to sling this deep down. It's caught inside the 25. Narrowly, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but I've seen this a bunch of times as well. And give them another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. And my friend, I think it's safe to say that this game is pretty much deceased at this point. It's <laughs> taken a knee, so to speak. It is definitely this victory formation. Take the snap, take the knee, call it a night, you know, call it a game, call it whatever. I agree with you totally. I don't think there's much left to get except for those. And motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got a little play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will.